Well, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got that. Well, you know, the vehicle you see today is the result of two key approaches. Firstly, to create a small car with a big stance. Now, ultimately, it's all about securing the right proportions that convey the car's dynamic character. And it's absolutely crucial when it comes to breakthrough design. Big tires, broad shoulders, the ratio between the body and the cabin, they're all calculated to give this car an air of confidence and strength well above its dimensions. And it doesn't end with the exterior. In the interior, the layout, the simplicity, it's all to enhance the driving experience and provide customers with a canvas to tailor to their own taste, a mirror to their own true sense of style. Now, explaining it today makes it all kind of sound easy, but it really wasn't. And I don't mind telling you that we failed miserably on the first run. When we made the first full-size model of the LBX, we gathered around to look at it, and it honestly it dawned upon us that we'd fallen into the trap of making a small car with small car proportions. We realized that we were trying to operate within conventional self-imposed constraints. So we said, let's forget about the existing platform limitations, and we imagined a new version, the design that we really want to create from the start. And we invited Sato-san, then the president of Lexus, to have a look at the revised sketches, and thankfully, he gave us his full support to make fundamental engineering changes to push the boundaries. Now, the second way of thinking was to try and transcend the typical grading approach, creating the opportunity for customers to make a personal decision, even down to the color of the stitching. Now, traditional luxury is typically a hierarchical downward choice from top of the range to entry. But Alexis, by contrast, we view the brand as a side-by-side -side with customers, and irrespective of the size or type of vehicle you choose, you'll still get the full Lexus philosophy and experience. As a brand, we often say experience amazing. Perhaps, perhaps we should say experience you're amazing. Now, I'm going to hand over to Watanabe-san to explain how his team turned this concept into reality. And he did a great job. You know, I test drove the prototype recently, and it's just what we set out to do achieve. A fun, straight-talking Lexus that has attitude. It truly is a Lexus to make every day extraordinary. Thank you very much indeed, and please welcome Takashi Watanabe. Takashi. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. In March this year, it was my honor to take over as president of Lexus. Like my predecessor, Koji Sato, I am passionate about car making. At heart, I will always be an engineer. Simon explained how LBX condenses an amazing experience into a compact package. This involved long debates between design and engineering. Let me explain how we achieved this design for LBX and how we delivered the driving experience in Expresses. We started, we started with a B-segment GAB platform to make LBX a true Lexus and deliver the Lexus driving signature. We made many refinements. The Lexus driving signature aims for a natural driving feel that is engaging and refined. This begins with strong foundations. The wide, large diameter tires and wide truck give the car its strong stance. We increased body rigidity, reinforced the steering column, added underfloor braces, and much more. We also did a lot of work on the front suspension geometry and tuned the powertrain for linear response. 
This all ensure a direct driving feel as well as stability at high speed and during cornering. To ensure we were being sensitive to even small details, we involved a professional racing driver in development. He tested LBX over and over again at our Shimoyama development facility. We wanted to create a car that even a racing driver could enjoy on the weekend. Bit by bit, we defined the engineering. In the interior, we started with the driving position. We moved the seating position as low as we could go. We also looked in detail at the steering wheel position and the pedal angle so that everything felt natural. I remember discussing this with Akio Toyoda as master driver of Lexus. He drove the car at key points during development. The result is a car you can drive with confidence. On winding road, LBX feels more like a nimble hatchback than a crossover. We aim for a fun driving experience that makes you want to drive it forever. It is like the way you feel about your favorite pair of shoes. And because it is a Lexus, we of course spent a lot of time on comfort, quietness, and refinement. This focus on the Lexus driving signature applies to all Lexus models, from hybrids like the LBX to fully electric models like the RZ. Lexus is on track to becoming a fully electric brand. It will be a smooth, natural transition. We have shown you a glimpse of our future BB architecture. This will revolutionize not only the product, but the production process. I look forward to sharing more in the autumn. In parallel to electrif electrification, we will continue to innovate when it comes to the luxury experience as a whole. The new GX, for example, will push the limit of how far you can take luxury. For us, the answer is anywhere. Every Lexus has its own personality, and every Lexus is intended to make luxury personal. The LB LBX is a perfect example. I am often asked what I see as most important for the future of Lexus. It is simple. Whatever the product, whatever the drivetrain, it must make customers smile. Thank you.
Show.